Only 70 days until Halloween. This is Halloween Viz, and today I will be doing an unboxing of the black and red jumping spider. What's up, guys? It's Halloween Vids, and today I will be doing my first ever Spirit Halloween, well, Halloween animatronic prop unboxing. So, uh, bear with me if the camera isn't the greatest, like, movement-wise or whatever, because this is my first time doing this. But, without further ado, let's get it opened. Oh yeah, today, as the box says, I'll be unboxing the black and red jumping spider. I just got this guy recently, so... Not from my local store, I got him from a family. Delayed Christmas present, because of... Just, there you go. Jeez. Well, here are the instructions. In the plastic wrap. Let's set those to the side for now. Now, let's see. We got the spider. Alright, now there he is in box. Um, this, this won't be a too long of an unboxing video because it's simple setup. I set one up before. But I do own the black and red. I'm mean, not the black and red, I own the black and white. But yep, yeah, there we go. Out of the box. Um, yep, yeah. oh, what's this? What this looks like. Oh, the Ask Dr. Zombie card. Well, let's that to the side. Alright, let's get the box out of the way now. Let's get a look at the prop. Great packaging. I mean, usual. <laughs> Easy. Oh, there's cardboard here, though. That's always a fun time. Let's see. How do I want to do this here? Ah, uh, tape. Okay. Now, let's get my scissors. Let's see if I can do this on camera. And when it comes to setting up bigger props, I'll move the camera to the side so I can use two hands. But for the sake of this one, I'll just stick with the one. But yeah, I'm super excited to have this guy because the red and black is like my favorite color scheme, so. Really cool. Alrighty. Anyone else I have to cut? Yes, that's what it looks like. I don't know. Alright, well, let's take him out. So, here's the mechanism with the just spider. Again, jumpy, jumpy jump. But, alright. And here we have just holes to set them up. Alright, let's get this stuff organized. Now the instructions here are super simple. Only nine steps in total. So, not complicated at all. As you see, it comes with the spider mechanism and then just the supports on the bottom so he doesn't fall. Oh, and the Remover key so you can remove those supports if ne needed for storage, but yeah Let's get into the setup. Locked in part A to the corresponding A on the module. I didn't do it on camera unfortunately just because um, I Couldn't do it with one hand, but anyways, let's get to the next step here Which involves taking I believe part B um To, yeah, insert back foot part B to B. Alrighty, let's see this. I can do this one with one hand now. Let's see here. Really gonna be careful here. There we go, got it in. Alrighty. Now, part C and part C remain, and they both go on these sides like this. Let me just get these ones in off camera, so they're tiny and flimsy. All right, now that I have all the parts in there, this is add a sandbag, but I, I, I won't do that just because that's dumb. 
Let me just make sure I'm not forgetting anything here. Wrapped in fabric, it's like poles and fabric. Oh yeah, I need to attach these poles, I believe. There you go. And there we go. Alrighty. Now it's time to insert the batteries here. Uh, oh, doo -doo -doo. This is the Jumping Spider's 10th year anniversary. I'm surprised Spirit didn't do anything exciting for it though. It's kind of unfortunate. Take that screw. And it does take four batteries. All right, I wasn't sure if it was three or four, but let's get them in. Now, oh, got to put them into the off position real quick. Shoot. Is there an off position? No, I'm, hang on. Okay, so there was an off switch. It was just on the part here. It, it, this thing was over it right here. So I couldn't see it, but all good now. Yeah. All right. So now let's, oh, let's put the battery compartment back on here. But yeah, now I just gotta move the spider to where I like him and then the setup would be complete. Again, super easy setup for a great animatronic. But yeah, again with the 10th year anniversary, it's just a shame they didn't do anything really special. I'd love to see the giant jumping spider from 2012 come back, because I don't know of many people that have him. And I'd like to get him personally, just because I think he's really cool. And today, this year would have been the year to do it, but they didn't, so it's kind of unfortunate, but... It is what it is. Alrighty. Now let me get the jumping spider into the position I'll like him and then I'll be right back. Alrighty, I just finished posing the arms and getting the spider web in place. There's Velcro on each of the uh, foots to, well, foots, feet, but I don't know how to actually put that since it's the name of a p part, but whatever. Um, but yeah, then I posed the arms and how I liked, or the legs. And now let's just get into a quick demo of this guy. Right here. There you go. Let's hit the demo one more time. Now, actually. But yep, there we go. He's super cool. I'm glad to have him. He will go, go well with my black one who's sitting over here. But yeah, that's it for the video. Stay tuned for a review and a demo on the black and red jumping spider. And until next time, see ya.